up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are week 12 into eternal evolution and we've made some huge progress in the game so let's start off with that so if we go to the lost valley sincero's marsh we've gone from ex1 to ex3 so we've cleared every single stage now and i just want to say a massive thank you do a shout out for get clients with mio um so they commented on one of our videos and just gave me some advice on to change my Anpu build. And that made me just jump from EX2 to EX3 with no problems. It's just one champion that made all the difference. Disa Caves, no progression. Terra Dome, EX3, not quite there, but we've gone from EX1 to EX2. So yeah, the next thing now is just to maybe probably just strengthen my Assassins and we'll be easily able to smash EX3 and start to farm these universal crystal shards. Um, the, the triangle, the keto triangle. So um, made some progression here as well. Crimson Rot, but I always like to call it Crimson Riot. I'm not sure why, um, but we've now cleared level seven hard um, and that's huge. We can now farm um, materials and being able to upgrade your gear with these materials, it gives you huge stat bonuses. It's probably one of the best things you can do in the game to really bump up your hero's damage. And I think that's pretty much everything here. Like I was rank three for exotic exposition arena. I've become a bit of a monster now. Uh, we're rank seven in regular arena. I'm going to try and push. I don't think I'm going to be able to get, f well, if beyond is three, and I can beat beyond. I can get top three. That's what we're going to aim for, boys. We're going to go for that top three place. Uh, Galactic Arena, obviously, it doesn't really matter what you do in this, but top 15, I'll take it. Um, Hell Arena, I actually failed pretty hard um, for last week, but this week we're in first place. So we're definitely getting that pre-motion. Um, I need to work on my my defense teams. There's I mean, Ignore team four and five. But yeah, definitely need to do some work in here. I need like a Vanguard team. I need a tank team. There's a lot of teams. There's a lot of teams that we need to make and build. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. And I guess before we just check out the heroes and look at some more builds, I want to talk about one thing that's really, really important, and that is full turtle. I have gone full turtle. So probably in my last video, I probably had like zero diamonds. I'm now at 50K. The trick to this is to not spend. So full turtle is when you just start saving your resources as much as possible. The only thing I spent diamonds on is Crimson Abyss every day. I'm just maxing it out um, just so I can level up or hyper evolve my heroes to the max. Otherwise, I'm not touching anything else. Literally nothing is getting touched. I, I think it was all due to the, the Twilight Lands. Literally, they just threw Diamond's ass. Just insane. Like, literally to go from... I probably like had 5k Diamonds to 50k. That is massive. So, yeah, big jump right there from the Twilight Lands. Literally just, like I said, just throwing them at them. And now I'm going to hold on to them till an event comes up where I can spend them to get rewards because it, it just makes sense. There's no point in just blowing your load every day. You need, you, need to st you need to stack it up. Also, I've been saving my... Where is it? Yeah, so I've been saving... Saving my limited recruitment cards for a while now. So we've got a healthy amount. I'd love to have like 160. Um, just means that we can get two of these uh, gene hybrids plus, yeah, two. And yeah, the only thing is though, it just means I'm gonna have to pick up a copy of Eren. I mean, Eren looks absolutely sick. Let's just check them out. Let's just watch their animation. But right now I'm actually full for assassins. I don't need another assassin. Where my account's still new and fresh, um, I need to focus on my roster and developing across the board. So like summoners, assassins, that's where I'm like strongest. Um, probably next is like supports, but then tanks, vanguard, hunters, 
energy heroes as well, actually. I'm sort of lacking in that area. So I don't want to, you know, just waste all my resources on this guy. I mean, looks so sick, though. But like I said, no, no more assassins are needed. Ares, though. Vanguard hero. I think mine's at... I'm not sure what they're at. But I do need to grab another copy. Do you know what? Why right? Let's go for it, boys. Might as well pick up another copy while we're here. Only thing that's a little bit annoying is that because we're only going to pull 60, we're not going to get that. Sorry, just one more. One more. We're not going to quite get that um, gene hybrid. But yeah, so at the moment, um, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on Daniel. Um, so he'll be the last summoner that I work on for now. And then I'm just going to leave summoners alone and focus on the next class, which is probably going to be probably Vanguard, probably Vanguard. But yeah, so just 20 more. Oh, 10 more. 10 more to get Gene Hybrid. Ah, oh, do you know what? Let's be cheeky. I do want it. There we go. Let's pick one up. I mean, the other thing I'd really love... No, it's not in here. I'm pretty sure I saw another copy of Skino. Skino is a beast. Um, mine is barely leveled at all. We'll have a quick look, actually. So, first of all, let's check out Ares. So, what's that? Mythic plus two. Yeah, not that evolved, but now going to get a big upgrade. I think we should also be able to get our, our um, exclusives now, exclusive, exclusive now as well, which can we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've already had it. But um, yeah, but this is just like going to be a big buff to Ares, and I want to start using him. Um, he's going to be pretty solid, and yeah, I'm really lacking on the the Vanguard front. So. So energy heroes yeah skino so skino is just mythic uh i do we don't even have an exclusive and he slaps like the he does more damage than my raven and raven is you know she's full immortal she's hyper evolved plus her okay not quite but yeah exclusives up there as well um talents maxed out and she's got three awakening as well and Skino is outperforming her massively. Um, so it's crazy. <laughs> There's no comparison. So yeah. So Anpu. So this is where um, getting clients with a Mio really helped me out. So I was in um, All Hero and he recommended swapping out Surge and then focusing on crit rate, crit damage and accuracy. And man, the damage difference is huge. So I was doing like, say, on the average on a boss, I'd probably do 1 billion damage. Now we're doing a comfortable 2 billion. So we've doubled our damage. And that's a big, you know, a billion's a big number. That's a big double. Um, plus, a lot of this gear isn't even, um, I had like more tempered gear out as well. So that is a big jump. Um, so weapon, obviously we're looking for attack percentage. We're looking for crit damage. We're looking for crit rate. Ideally, I'd love these gloves to be crit damage. However, if you don't have a decent amount of crit rate, it's almost pointless. It's not going to pump out those big fat numbers, but we'll get there. We will get there. It's just all about the rolls. Like, this isn't the best pair of gloves. I mean, it probably was the best I had at the time. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, accuracy on the helm and then attack percentage on the boots with some extra attack percentage built in and crit rate and crit damage. I mean, they're triple S, uh, triple S boots for a reason. But yeah, but yeah, Anpu like literally just carry me through all content. What a god. Yeah, so um, Hyper Evolution as well. We've been working on Vengus and uh, Mooka. So yeah, Mooka actually did help me with some content. I was stuck on one of the bosses in the Triangle. Who was it? Yeah, it was Crimson, was it? No, Mirage Space. And yeah, just bringing in Mukart was just enough 
for me to clear um, six. So yeah, that really, really helped. But at the moment, um, yeah, so we've got three fully hyped heroes and now we've got sort of three more in the mix. Probably will work on Raven at some point. Um, yeah, I think I said she was fully, I thought she was fully hyped. Obviously not. Do you know what? Let's just throw some points in there quickly. Yeah. So if we have a look from classes, summoners, we're doing perfectly fine. Like Daniel is coming in the mix. Um, I can actually awaken him again, but I'm holding on for another mission just to, you know, pick up some extra rewards. And in a way, you're sort of slowing down your account, but in other ways, you will get way more rewards and you'll get a big boost as well. So I'm okay with it. I'm at a I'm at a place in the game now where it's not such it's not it's not a hindrance. It's not gonna slow me down. Early on, just summon, just level, just do what you can to sort of progress as quickly as you can. Later on, we go full turtle. So summoners, they're complete for now. Tank, Orthan, God tier, Vengus. Actually, a little bit disappointed in him. He doesn't seem that good. I do need some more triple S uh, tank. So, yeah, that's where we're, we're lacking there. Uh, Vanguard or Zane. I cannot wait to sort of start leveling him out. He slaps. Um, I've lost so many times to Arena team. The disrespect was unreal. Um, Artas, not a fan. I just really lackluster. Nothing. I actually just leveled up today. I have no idea if he's actually any good. Got some random gear on him. I don't remember putting this on him. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd try him out because like I said, I'm really lacking on the Vanguard front. I do have um, Hemdall, who obviously, I mean, he's really strong, but he's only epic. And it's going to take me a long time to sort of max him out. So yeah, not, yeah. So I need to sort of focus on the rest got leo as well maybe i should probably level up leo a little bit as well but yeah so that's sort of wait whoa 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 so that's where we are with that assassins are coming along nicely uh we've got ricket who's actually been like a huge boost to the account not built that well but he's actually outperforming everyone on my account he just lacks survivability um I think I say this every video. I cannot stand the way he looks. He looks like he should be in a retirement home. He's like an old man. He should be sitting down, smoking his pipe, reading the pipe paper, reading the paper. But yeah, but yeah, old man Rick. But yeah, we've got Dominic. Obviously, he's a little bit not that evolved. Um, Samuel doing some work for me as well. Absolutely love Samuel. Um, Coraxia, I mean, an absolute beast. But the problem is that where they're a SP hero, it's so hard to get copies. I have been saving up cards for her as well. So just waiting for Connor to go by and then we'll go for summons for her. Sort of working on Helentis as well. But again, it's going to take a while of just farming her up. So yeah, Assassins, they're on the way. Pretty much, pretty much on the way there. Um, Hunters, yeah, again... We do have a copy of um, Artemis, who okay at the moment. Again, they're sort of, I think out of all the SP heroes, they're the weakest at just epic. So, yeah, they're not as great until further down the line. But I've got Rebecca. I've got Emma, who, can I evolve? I thought I saw a copy. No, just my eyes deceive me. But, um, yeah, so we've got one, two, three 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 triple s heroes we're okay on hunters um supports i mean i've got four amazing supports right here um all of them are great and doing work for me but yeah just it's it's okay for now and i mean serena 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 is she's amazing like considering she's not a triple s hero the healing she can pump out is on another level Energy, again, sort of needs a lot of work to it. Um, only three um, Triple S heroes, and it's going to take a long time to get Skinny up to scratch. And who's this? Is it Jaina? Yeah, Jaina. 
So yeah, it's going to take a long time. So you can see a lot of work to be done on the account in the end. Summoners completed it, mate, completed it. So I think that's pretty much everything on the account right now. Just saving resources and making sure that I sort of use them at the right time. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash that subscribe. I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.